I'm back. I am back, and I, uh, that actually didn't take as long as I thought it did. Which really surprises me. Although, I'm still a little anxious about, um, passing this, passing, completing these event stories in general, because I am, I normally, when I throw myself into these, I am, um, the last two times I've thrown myself into something like this, I actually had, I didn't feel as challenged like I do now. But I'll try my best. Anyway, there are actually two stories, the white leap, I believe, and then there is the black group. So I just have to play through them both twice and then I'm pretty much done. But I have to have this done by early December. So wish me luck. Wish me luck. Solomon continued as if the decision had already been made. Now that sounds nice. If Lord Solomon will play the guitar, then I'll put my heart to practicing the drums. Hartman answered gladly. Crowley, you should take on whatever instrument you can play, and Dorothy will sing. Solomon patted my shoulder. I, I can't! We'll do this in front of a lot of people, right? Of course, it's a music festival, after all. There's no way I can do it. I'll die of nervousness if I sing in front of a crowd. I desperately sh there hasn't been a single person in recorded history who's died from singing, Dorothy. Well, I might just be the first. Singing in front of a big crowd like that, my heart felt like it would stop just by singing it, just by imagining it. No way, I have to stop. I looked over at Crowley. Crowley. Sorry, everyone. I'm saying his name wrong. <laughs> Seeking help. Hey, Crowley, you're against this too, right? Me? Well... He's just telling you to play an instrument out of nowhere. But it sounds interesting. Crowley said with his eyes shining. Wait, what? It looked like Crowley was totally on board with this, much to my dismay. I can't even imagine playing an instrument back when I was a scarecrow, so this has drawn my interest quite a bit. Let's do it, Dorothy. It'll be fun. But, but I, I... So Crowley is in for it too. Well, it's settled then. You don't mind, do you, Norton? My will is being completely ignored. Are you ever want to back down after you have decided on something, Lord Solomon? By all means, do as you wish. That's right, Norton. How about you joining as well? I'm afraid I will pass. I prefer listening to music rather than performing it, you see. Ah, why not? <laughs> why not? <laughs> Well, if I get to perform with Lord Solomon and Dorothy, I'm even more enthusiastic than before. <laughs> Wait, I, I really... Do my best, Dorothy. I'll do my best to practice, too. <sighs> Crowley's eyes housed a passionate flame, and Hartman was as eager to do this, this concert as he could be. With this much expectation, I can't just say no. It looked like I let myself go with the crowd a lot more than I thought. Oh, I just can't wait! Hey, what's going on here? Looks like everyone's having fun. Leonardo had found himself in our group, it seemed. You've come at a good time, Leonardo. We're all talking about the music festival. Oh, the music festival? It's pretty soon, isn't it? I'm looking forward to it. We've decided to form a band and perform ourselves. Wait, you two are going to play music? Lord Solomon and Dorothy will be with us as well. It really has been decided already, hasn't it? I thought I decided to give up protesting. Wait a minute, are you going to keep this funnel to yourselves? Leonardo couldn't let, wouldn't let Crowley and Hartman get away with this one. Then let me join in, then let me join in too. I can, right, Lord Solomon? I didn't mind at all, but can you play an instrument? I can't, but I've got this, I've got this tempered throat of mine. I used to be a lion, remember? Let me sing! No, that is a bit of- no, this is a bit of a problem. We were to have Dorothy handle the singing after all. It's no problem at all. We could just make it a duet. Both male and female vocalists. That doesn't sound bad at all. Then it's settled. Looking forward to singing with you, Dorothy. Y yeah. 
completely overwhelmed by Leonardo's energy. I found myself nodding, too. Hold on a moment. Ah, here comes Oz. What wonderful, peaceful times. <sighs> Sounds like you were all having quite the time without us. Oh, it's, it's Great Oz and Wesley. Are you two interested in the music festival as well? There's no way we wouldn't now, is there? The whole behind this event. Would you like to join us as well, Great Oz? I was going to just step in and enjoy the festival as a guest, but if this is what we're talking about, that won't fly. Oz looked at me with a sly grin. This is I'm joining the band too. Wait, what? Can you play an instrument though? Don't forget, I'm a magician. I've got that dexterity. A little practice is all, I'll is all it'll take before I can master whatever instrument I need to. Oz puffed out his chest. I feel like the, dis the dexterity you need for magic tricks, what you need for instruments. Are you going to join a band too, Wizard of the West? <laughs> when Hartman asked, Wesley let out an un an interested sort. snort. I don't really care, but if Dorothy says she'll just sing for me, I wouldn't mind joining. In, in direct opposition to what he said, Wesley's face seemed to be demanding I put him into the band. But we don't need you lot to perform. You'll just get in the way. Hey, don't try to monopolize. Don't try to monopolize Dorothy. Well, hold on, Leonardo. Wesley, too, don't rain in on our parade like that. Not when you're just dying to join the party. Not when... Huh? I, I don't care. However, this is uh, an issue. Salmon Wizard Falfall. Seven people might be a little much for a small band like the one we're putting together. True. I feel like we're all on our own to a small orchestra of seven people. However, it might not be fair to exclude people simply because they came later. No, it wouldn't be. <sighs> decisions, decisions, decisions. Indeed, we've got to do everything democratically. Fair and democratically, you say? In that case, I have a good idea. Let us decide with the lottery. Oh, I see. Ah, I see. We hold a lottery with the six of us aside from Dorothy. The three of them will form the band with her. If I don't get into the band, these custom-made symbols will go to waste. Maybe I'll run a solo show if that happens. A, a symbol? Solo? Not that there's anything wrong with that, but... Great, Oz, Wesley, you don't mind, do you? Yeah. That way we won't hold anything against each other. Sure, no cheating, though. Got it. Well, let us begin immediately. Norton, bring it out. Lord Solomon, are you... Are you certain? When Solomon beckoned him, Norton seemed even more reluctant to proceed. If we're doing it, if we're going... If we're doing a lottery, that would be the best opinion, don't you think? Good grief. This is most definitely going to breed resentment. As he muttered an exasperation, exasperation, Norton slightly waved his hand. Oh! A tray appeared on top of his hand, and the tray, and on the tray were cream puffs? Three of these cream puffs have pop. The one who eats them lose. The chance is 50-50. This, this is fair democracy, don't you think? ...at his chest. This is like Russian roulette. Cream per, cream per Russian roulette. Just as Norton said, whoever lost this would definitely hold it against it. Would definitely hold it against everyone. Alright, then let's eat him on the court of three. Then let's eat him on the count of three. That'll be the fastest. Yeah, I hear that. That'll stop. That'll stop cheating. That'll stop cheating too. Count. Two. I mean, three. Two. 
But six all grabbed the cream puffs on the train. <laughs> then they all put them in their mouths. Oh no. No. <laughs> they took out the pepper. <laughs> <laughs> so what are they gonna call it? what are they are they called the black peppers oh leonardo oz and wesley's faces all went pale my tongue <laughs> <laughs> and cried my eyes out <laughs>